Hi, my name's Chris Butler. I'm the Divisional Process Development Manager for Essential Components, and today we'll be having a talk about injection moulding thermoplastics. So, you may be wondering why it's important to select the correct polymer when we're talking about specific components that go into specific applications. For example, if we were talking about a pipe protection cap or packaging items, we tend to go for a low density polyethylene material. This is fantastic for those types of applications. If we were to be talking about engine management clips, we go for a PA material, a nylon material, because of its tensile strength and its durability. So when we talk about materials, it's important to understand the molecular structures. The majority of the time, most materials fall into two types of structure. The first one being a crystalline. This structure is very well ordered, whereas the second one is amorphous, and this has a much more jumbled molecular structure. It's important to understand these two structures in selection of materials and how they affect the final product. This is extremely important to design engineers when they're selecting the correct material for the application they're designing the part for. So we've talked a little bit about the molecular structure and how important it is, but also, generally, the majority of injection moulding polymers are categorised into three simple categories. The first one being commodities materials. These materials are the most common, widely used and available. They're used for things like our low-density polyethylene cap, which we looked at earlier. We then talk about engineered grade materials. These are materials that are specifically designed for certain applications, such as our nylon clip. We then also, we talk about high temp materials, and these are specialised materials that are used in specialist applications. So to summarise, if we take into account the structure of the material, the type of material that we're going to be using, suitable for our application, the environment and the conditions that the component is going to be exposed to, this helps us to make the correct selection of the polymer we're going to use to make our parts. So finally, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you.